Hi everyone. There's a popular word. I'm sure all of us are interested in some way. Some of our performing it, some of our retired out of it, some of our are planning for it or studying for it. And the word is pilot. The funny part is I took it granted that I know its meaning, but turns out until I recently found out it has a lot different meanings to it. First one, the popular one that we all know about it. The person who is qualified and usually certified to operate the flight controls of a flying vessel. What is vessel? A ship? Certainly not in this sense. An aircraft? Everything that flies basically, starting from paraglider or a hang glider all the way to the big airliners, fighter jets or even spacecraft, spaceships, they all have pilots who are responsible to control them, steer them. A maritime pilot, aka harbor pilot, or simply pilot. Expert captains with local knowledge that temporarily guide the foreign ships through hazardous sea passages. Okay, imagine yourself, you're a freighter captain, you are supposed to pass through a narrow confined waters, a hazardous strait like Panama Canal or Istanbul Strait or Gibraltar Strait, wherever it is, some kind of dangerous place for a huge ship like that. You need the local knowledge, right? You call the harbor and they send you a specialized captain, which is an expert of, especially in different kinds of ship, as well as their own geography, their own uh, local area to pass through. Because there are narrow areas, there are some different underwater obstacles we don't easily see, we don't maybe know about for unfamiliar captains. And uh, there are different currents, there are special weather or anything that normal captains, regular captains, don't see every single day. So they just uh, hop on a helicopter or a small boat, come to your ship, you're welcome, he takes his coffee, and he guides you through that hazardous place safely. After that, when his duty is completed, he, go he goes back to the harbor, be ready for the next ship, and you're going safely. This guy is called a pilot in maritime, in sea transportation. That's the first one. Second one, television. Aha, this video itself is a uh, pilot video not because what I do for a living but also it's a trial episode of a TV show which is my humble YouTube channel to test the audience reaction which is likes subscriptions or hates I hope I don't have any whatever before the shooting or starting the whole thing the broadcasting of the actual show pretty much self-explanatory so it's, just, it's a trial version of the video series that's the first one hope you like it anyway telecommunications this is rather technical it says an unmodified reference signal to adjust another signal with there's a reference signal and you want and there's the other signal you want to adjust you're taking this one as a reference and you're just i don't know turn your knobs or just do electronically to set up adjust your signal according to this reference signal which is called pilot signal another one we all know about it mr lewis hamilton recently mr schumacher mr senna they're all kind of unofficially called f1 pilots i think they are well deserving it. different story another one pilot light it's industrial it's the uh, small piece of flame that constantly keeps running uh, to keep the larger combustion, the main combustion, main firing, uh, to be fired all the time, making sure the whole thing is not extinguishing. We even have it on the aircraft, um, aircraft engines as well. They are called igniters. They are electrical, they are not flames, but they are responsible to, to first ignite the engine for the first starting, igniting the fuel, but also uh, when necessary, like heavy turbulence situation or heavy rain situations in the air, we turn them on or the computer automatically turns it on to uh, make sure the combustion inside of the engines don't extinguish. We don't want to lose an engine just because of this stupid rain, do we? Another one. Oh, that's funny. Cow catcher. That's an old word and I don't think it's used anymore. But it's about the um, mostly steam or coal related trains in 19th century 
we all saw them in movies there's that triangular big iron grill in front of the locomotive uh, of the old trains whose sole responsibility is to um, throw away the obstacles they encounter on the track away from the train that's different meanings yeah i digged out six of them i'm sure there's more to it let me know if there's any thank you for watching see you next time